hey guys so I want to make a short video on something that I just seen in a, a Facebook group and I won't mention the name of the Facebook group for privacy reasons of the group and of the person although I think they posted it anonymously and what I also want to say is that I'm going to like not that it's a big deal at all but I'm just curious about my um, manifestation powers like I have kind of a gray patch here gray hair and I'm curious to see if I can have it turn black again in an easy and effortless way so I'll keep you updated on that so this is about a um, specific person um, success story of someone so this particular girl she uh, there was a there is a or was doesn't really matter third party in the equation and she couldn't not imagine the third party away like pruning the shears of revision right like not paying attention and then having things dissolve and disappear from not giving your attention to it so she decided to affirm uh, that her person um, has not such nice feelings for the third party and um, it was an instant success and the reason why I'm making this is I really love how she went with what she wants instead of thinking of morals and moralistic judgments of whoever and that's what this is about life is about following your guidance even if everyone says it's wrong and you're not supposed to do that in the first instance you always have to do what feels good to you what i predict is that at one point when she and anyone who has allowed themselves to feel everything they want to feel and do everything they want to do without judgment and obviously I'm not th I'm not saying killing anyone but to be honest if that's really a wish of yours then go fucking ahead and live with the consequences <laughs> because there are obviously consequences to stuff like that that's what I'm saying is we all have a responsibility to our desires and because we have been taught by society and people don't understand shit and it's a game we're playing so it's all fine to not do certain things you repress and you repress and you repress and what do you get as a result people who don't understand who they are anymore or what they want anymore and so when you keep repressing what do you get very unhappy people who look like they are 75 years old when they're 25 which is obviously an exaggeration but you know what i'm what i'm getting at what i'm hinting at you become a shell of a person so this girl doing whatever the she wants I I salute that so much and this is also for you if you have ideas and feelings with regards to three piece or your specific person or or someone at work or when someone's being really nasty to you and you wish them to fall off their bike <laughs> you can see who I am <laughs> goody two shoes off their bike <laughs> anyway um, then go ahead you know do whatever it is that you desire I, I really mean it like do whatever it is that you desire in imagination it will have a reality of its own it always does even if it doesn't manifest and what is also the amazing thing of this is that you release resistance through this because it's the resistance that keeps things at bay the resistance 
the resistance in your body. Your body is a manifesting machine. It is through the physical body that you manifest things in the physical world. Your body is a physical manifestation. So are all the things you see and touch and taste around you and kiss and, and cuddle and punch. And these are all physical manifestations and they come through your body. So when your body is not a free flowing downstream flowing machine, and it's a resistance machine, what will you get? You will get things that you actually do not like to see. So when releasing resistance in first instance means, like for this girl, affirming that her SP has really nasty feelings for the third party, then do it. Do it. Who says that you can't? Morals are bullshit, especially when you are making yourself, forming yourself into a deliberate creator. That's really it. Allow yourself everything, everyone, all the time. And you will see, I really, I predict that she at one point will not have this desire anymore because she will see how easy it is to get what she wants without having to affirm things that actually don't feel good because that is what i think i think that in the end it doesn't feel good but at this moment she cannot reach the good feeling feelings because there's so much pent up anger and pent up I'm never I've never been allowed to be myself and so this is the only way out that I see but then at one point you naturally start to vibrate at joy and mostly love and and not that it's because it's not a judgment this is not a judgment at all it's just a feeling that I have and whatever she does or doesn't I don't give a shit it's just a feeling that I have. Yeah. So enough about that. This was the video. To reiterate, what is the point of this video? Allow yourself all the thoughts, all the feelings, everything that you want to affirm in the privacy of your own being and your mind and your head and your body. Because if you have the thought and you want it, go for it, really. This is the only, this is the only goal you need. Go for it. If you want it, it is allowed. That's it. So I trust you enjoyed this video. I didn't do the intro that I normally do. So I do it as an outro. <laughs> I am here for you to coach you, love you back into or more into your magnificent self and if you would like to work with me personally in the description you find the ways that you can if you don't want to work with me i love you just the same and i will see you in the next video i'm going to do some pretzel stuff at my weekly yoga class and i will see you in the next peace